guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Naomi Rook. If you're brand new to my channel, consider subscribing. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure to ring the notification bell so you can be notified anytime I do upload a video. Today's video is going to be a very quick and easy, pretty fast eyeshadow tutorial. I wanted to do the fox eye look that was all trending a couple years ago. I hadn't tried it until just recently, and I've kind of simplified it and made it my own. I really do enjoy an eyeshadow look like this. It's an all matte, and then I have a little bit metallic on my inner corner, but it really just elongates on my eyes and makes them look bigger and brighter. I really love how this eyeshadow technique complements my eye shape. I have kind of smaller hooded eyes, so I love how this looks. So if you would like to see how I create this really simple easy fox eye look with a wing liner then go ahead and keep watching and let's get her done All right, so my eyebrows are already done and my eyelids are primed. I always prime my eyelids with pretty much the same thing, either a MAC Paint Pot, a Moira Cream Base, or I use my Revolution Pro Eye Elements. I love those three. They work the best. They really cancel out the pigmentation and the veins on my lids. So the eyeshadow palettes that I like to use for this very easy to follow kind of fox eye. I love using the Dominique Cosmetics Transition Palette. These have a lot of more warmth or a little bit of rosiness, but I always have to have a very pale color and then I have to have my darkening colors. So I like that one. I also love my Tarte. This is the Clay to Play. I use this a lot as well. I use this one a lot because I have bronzers and I have everything I could possibly need. I really love the Tardis Pro Palette. This one is a great all matte palette except for it has the four shimmer but I can definitely get the fox eye look with all those colors. My absolute go-to, the one I grab for almost every time, is my Jeffree Star Orgy palette. I hate the name of the theme, but this is absolutely every brown and pale and darkening color you could ever need. So the one I'm going to use is actually my Tarte Clay Play. This is the OG. This is the one I've used the absolute longest. I always put this in my makeup kit when I'm doing people's makeup just because it is just such a go-to easy palette. I'm going to do a very simple, easy to follow look. You don't have to make this complicated. I have definitely seen people just really complicate it, but you absolutely do not have to. So what I'm going to do is use a large, fluffy blending brush. This is just a Wet n Wild. And I'm going to take this one, which is Journey right here. It is a very light transition color. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to place that right here, right above the back third of my crease and just fluff that out right there. Take it a little bit forward, about to the middle of my lid and just go back and forth just right there. So I find because I kind of have hooded eyes and I have a little bit smaller eyes, I always have to go above my crease. If I go down on my crease, you won't see it when I open my eyes. See if you can see it right there. You can see the color. But if I were to put it anything lower than that, you definitely would not see it. So I'm just going to fluff that right there. And then what I'm going to do, once I have this kind of blended out and you can see the color, I'm going to just take it out here and gently fluff it out winging it out just a little bit not putting more pigment on the brush but just using what's already there that way i'm not getting a ton of color i'm just getting a really easy soft kind of blend of color back there and then when you have this half how you want it and blend it out really nicely i will start gently taking it inward towards my tear duct area using the same color. You can get this look using three colors minimum. You can definitely add more, but three, you can definitely get this look done. You can also get this look done just so fast. That's why I really do like it for just every day. It also kind of redefines the shape of my eye. It gives me that really elongated look, which I absolutely love. Next, what I'm gonna do is take my little, this is Delamy Tools Golden Triangle. This is the 783 Small Tapered Blending Brush. And I'm gonna go in to this Dunes color, which is a little bit darker. I'm going to take that down to my lash line and up into my crease. Just right here, I'm not going to go any further than a third into my crease area. I'm taking that just a little bit above my crease so it can peek out. And then again, when I get back here, I'm just kind of winging it out to really give you that elongated shape. You can really see it right there. Super easy. I'm just using two colors and then I'm going to throw in one more color. And then you could be done with this. It's going to tap a little bit more further down here. What you can do is take your finger and just clean it up. I'll also use a makeup wipe if you don't want to use your finger. But then you can give yourself kind of that really sharp edge. For the third and final color, you can use a little flat brush. Or I also use this little angled kind of a fluffer brush. 
so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this sand color in the middle. It's a very matte kind of bone color. And then I'm going to take that into the inner part of my eye and really trace out kind of the socket of my eye but go above my crease. I, just, I like this brush because I just place it down, swipe it back and forth, and it goes perfectly along the socket of my eye. And then you can do a little bit of lighter color if you want. I'm going to go in with a little bit of my Solstice just to give you that, that pop. And there is pretty much the basic shape of the kind of fox eye. You can also take a little bit of a darker color, maybe that smoked, which is like this darker color right there. And you can align your lash line. You do not have to do that, but you can add a little bit more definition doing that. There is pretty much the basic shape. It gives you this really elongated kind of shape. Makes my eyes look bigger because I do have kind of hooded eyes like I said. So next we're going to do a little bit of a wing liner. So this is the eyeliner stamp. So what it is, it's a 10 millimeter stamp. There's two of them. There's one for the left wing. So it has a little bit of a stamp for the left wing. And on the other side it's a more of a thick liner. And it comes with the right side as well. So I have been using these and really, really enjoying them. The liner itself is very matte and black and loud a very very long time and then the stamps are really easy to use once you learn the angle that you want so I have like I said hooded eyes so I don't want to do too much of an incline of a wing so I like to do more of a straight wing and a little bit further out that way when I open my eyes I'm not distorting the shape of the wing so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I use this I really like it. I think it's definitely very useful especially if you have a more difficult time with wing liner I have learned to be able to do it on my own without this type of stamp but I do find the benefit of the stamp it is pretty helpful so what I like to do for my eye shape and of course it changes with any type of eye shape is I like to take it out further than my lash line so I go because my lash line is right there so I like to take it out a bit further and then I point it outwards and not upwards so I'm going to go ahead and stamp this like that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to lightly take the liner and get my tail. I mean look how quick that was and I already have the wing. I'm not going to take it in too far. I'm just going to take it a little bit because I find if I take it in too far it makes my eyes look smaller. I take it in not even a quarter. there it is look how fast that was wasn't that crazy so I do really like the stamp because it gives you the shape of the tail that you want it's a really beautiful triangle shape so you're not trying to get the line catch it over try to match it and everything so it gives you the same shape for both sides I really do like that I find this really beneficial I wish it was a bit smaller it is the 10 millimeter I need to get online and see if they have a smaller one. This was sent to me. I have not been paid to talk about it, but I have really been enjoying it. I honestly would suggest if you really struggle with wing liner, I would highly suggest trying out the Eye Method Beauty. I really do like the liner itself. It's very matte black, lasts all day long, and then it is really easy just to get that really precise shape that just looks nice and it will look uniform on both sides so you're not trying to get the shape of the wing the same on both sides. I'm gonna go ahead and hop off, do my other side, do the rest of my makeup. I'm gonna hop back in and show you all the finishing details of my fox eye as soon as I'm done with everything else. Okay, right, so there is the finished makeup and the finished eyeshadow. I love this look. It is such an easy, quick, everyday type of eyeshadow look. You throw on a little bit of wing liner, a little mascara, and then for the inner corner, I always like to do a highlighter that I apply to my face because I love the all matte eyeshadow look and then the quick little pop of metallic. So I use my um, Wet n Wild Precious Petals. I really like how that looks on the inner corner. I love how this eyeshadow looks. It is so quick and easy. It's a great everyday eyeshadow look that just really elongates, makes your eyes look like you put more effort into it than you actually did. I really, really do enjoy the Eye Method eyeliners. I think they're really fantastic. Dark black matte lasts all day long. Super easy to apply, especially with the shape of the wing it just gives you that perfect outline of what you want for your wing liner so if you've struggled with the wing liner I would highly suggest the eye method eyeliners I really do enjoy those so that is the end of the video oh also my lip combination is um, the Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk 
And then I tried one of these new Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Plumpers. I really like this, and this is in um, Primrose, so that is my lip combo as well. So that is the end of the video. I hope this was helpful. I know people can complicate eyeshadow. I know I can do that. I love applying a ton of eyeshadows, but when you really want to bring it back to the basics, a super easy look, this is the easiest, fastest, and most put-together type eyeshadow look that I love doing on a daily basis. So hopefully you enjoyed this video, and I will catch you on the next one. Bye, guys.